Hey everybody, it's me, Necklace. I am coming to you again because my first introduction was about 15 seconds. Um, I didn't give you time to fully know anything about me, so I'm doing another introduction to give you a little bit more information about myself. Um, my name is Nicholas Pena. Uh, my birth name was Nicole Pena. Uh, the reason why I picked Nicholas Pena was because my mom used to call me Nick all the time. She'd say, Nick, because it rhymed with Nicole. So I picked that as a gift to my mom because I wasn't so sure if she would, um, how she would react to me having, like, a different name. And I, I didn't want it to be disrespectful, so I took on my name Nicholas so that it would make my family feel a little bit more comfortable and myself a little bit. Um, I came out in 2012 to my family that I wanted to cut all my hair off and that I was an FTM and I wanted to be a guy. I wanted the surgery, I wanted my chest off because I don't like how it feels and I was hitting this secret for years, like years and years and I never told anybody because I was afraid to tell people and I was afraid of what they would think and I tried to be what everybody wanted me to be because I thought that's what made everybody happy and I felt for a long time as long as I made everybody else happy that I would, you know, I'd be in the good zone <laughs> so um, I decided that I'm not going to do it no more because it just wasn't for me I couldn't keep doing that so um, here's the little things about me. I'm really camera shy, so you have to bear with me. Um, I'm not used to broadcasting myself. I'm not used to being on YouTube. Uh, but I feel that, you know, since everyone's doing it, at times it's a good way of communicating. That's one big way I can let everybody know who I am. So, um, my first thing is how I knew I was at FTM uh, since I was a kid. I'd have to say since I was a little kid, I used to wear trunk shorts um, because I didn't have boobs at the time, so I was good. You know, I used to hang out with my uncle and go swimming in trunks and never had to wear a shirt or a bra, and I thought it was good, you know. I thought I had it good until shortly after I learned um, that I had to wear a bathing suit, and my mom had to tell me, oh, you're going to get your period, you're going to get grow boobs which kind of like, yeah, I wasn't so um, happy about that. So after a while, um, I would try to do anything to bind it. I would try anything to make sure that nobody saw the boobs. <laughs> so it was kind of hard trying to deal with that because I didn't want it. I didn't want the puberty. I didn't want the boobs. And um, I, I don't think there was nothing I could do about that. But I did try different things to bind myself, to wear really, really, really tight uh, sports bras to see if um, it would make it go down a little bit. Um, There's a few times I tried in elementary school. I think I was in fourth grade. Um, anyone ever hear of the sock balls? Well, I used to wear it at home. I used to not let anybody see it because I was kind of afraid that if I go to school, everybody would see it in my pants and, you know, I kind of, like, didn't want them to, but then again, I did. So one day, I went to school, and knowing this, um, I didn't know that you have to pin the sock somewhere to hold it in place. I didn't know that it would move around because when I was in my room, you know, I didn't move around a lot. I didn't walk around a lot, but when I was in school, you constantly are moving and constantly in classrooms, constantly doing something. So I was kind of surprised when it actually happened. When I did bring it to school, I w was wearing it. And I started moving around, going to gym and everything. And it started moving around. And it started scrunching up in places it's not supposed to. And it made it look like I had a, a bulgy boner. And you know, all the other kids are going to tease you. And they're going to be like, well, oh, look at she has that in her pants, ah. you know, and that was kind of embarrassing, so, um, 
I was sitting in class and I was like, oh, everyone's staring at me. And I excused myself to go to the bathroom. But in the bathroom, I was too scared to take it out because of my underwear because I didn't want to hold it in my hand and carry it out the bathroom and put it to my locker because I knew somebody was going to see me. So I walked up to my locker and I stood there for God, a good almost hour. I was looking left and right, just scared, you know. And then when I did, when the bell rang, I was like, oh crap, you know, people are going to start coming out. I got to do this real fast. So I took it out real fast and I put it in my backpack and I just stood there and I felt like I was going to cry because I wanted to wear it. But then again, I knew that, you know, I was going to get teased and I had no way to actually make it stay in place so it wouldn't move. So that option was out of my little league right there. I never tried that again. <laughs> I tried other things, but I never tried that. Um, I think it was um, almost my 14th birthday. I asked my grandma, one of my grandmas, for a sex change. I said, I want a sex change for my birthday, for my present. Um, yeah, <laughs> that didn't go so well. Um, she took me to like a hospital looking clinic. I wasn't sure where I was at, but she told me that, oh, they're, you know, they're going to cut me open and just a lot of stuff that scared me really bad. So then I kept quiet and I didn't tell nobody. I was kind of scared because I thought she was going to get mad at me, you know, because I could see that she disapproved of that. So I was quiet for a while and then when I was after my 14th birthday, um, in middle school, um, I was trying to figure out ways to flatten my chest. And one day in swim class, I had to um, wear a swimming suit. <laughs> I didn't want to. I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not going to. But they made me, and since I didn't bring my own, I had to wear one of theirs. Which actually was like a lucky thing for me, because I tried on a few of them, and they were like really thick and they were like really like tight so when I tried on a few I actually wore one and that flattened my chest completely and I was like ah. <laughs> and I actually never took it off after that I went home with it under my clothes and I took two more from the school which is actually <laughs> that's probably a really bad thing but I wore that whole thing every day for almost a year almost a little bit over a year because that's what made me feel comfortable the only reason why that was gone was because one day my grandma actually took it when I wasn't looking when I was in the shower and I went to look for it and it was gone and the other two they were gone too so I didn't have a way to um, actually find myself at that time so I was really upset I was kind of pissed off um, so after that, I started trying other, you know, different things like sport, really tight sports bras, really baggy, baggy shirts so that nobody would see it. Um, I think it was like 15 and a half or about almost 16. I shaved the back of my head. I had a ponytail, but since I was going to hide it from my mom, I just lifted my ponytail up and I shaved all the hair underneath my ponytail like my whole head all from like right here all the way back I shaved it bald and I hid it by putting the ponytail down so nobody saw it unless I went out or went to school I put my hair up and everybody would see that under my hair was bald but it was <laughs> yeah that didn't last long because my grandma and my mom caught on to it because I started shaving more which was probably not a good thing because it was uneven. I was trying to look in a mirror and do it at the same time. Yeah, so that was probably really bad. <laughs> I tried quite a few things. Um, but when they found that out, um, they did yell at me for that. So I stopped doing that. And then after a while, I just kind of just went into my own zone. And I tried to not think about it. I tried to wear boy clothes and my mom, my dad, they threw out my, my the guy clothes that I was wearing. Um, 
several times, and I dug in the garbage for it. Um, I would go to my friend's house and get bad clothes. No matter what they did, I would find a way to get it because I was not going to wear no girl clothes. Nope. But, um, that's a little bit about me. Um, that was a little to get through. But I hopefully you like this video. Uh, it took a lot of courage to actually say it. So, um, I hope you like my next video that has more to say. Okay, bye.